Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Exodus chapter 11, where Moses wrote about his dealings with Pharaoh. Moses began, The Lord said to Moses, I am going to bring one more plague to Egypt, and this time Pharaoh will let you go. When I do this, all the people of Egypt will beg you to leave. Before you go, tell all my people to ask the Egyptians to give them a parting gift. Tell them to ask their Egyptian neighbors for gifts of gold and silver. I will stir the Egyptians' hearts to actually give it to them. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Pharaoh that I will go through all the land and I will kill all of the firstborn. From the firstborn prince to the firstborn of the lowest slave, I will destroy. I will kill even the firstborn of the livestock. There will never be another day like it ever again. Tell Pharaoh that I will make a distinction between my people and his people. I will not kill any of my people in the land of Goshen. In fact, not even a dog will bark in that part of the country. You will know that I am the Lord, and you will let my people go free. So, in anger, Moses told Pharaoh the word of the Lord and quickly left him to prepare for the journey. The most important verses in this chapter are Exodus 11, verses 4 through 7, which state, And Moses said, Thus saith the Lord, About midnight I will go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn of the land of Egypt shall die from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of the beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall like it any be any more. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that he is in full control of people's intentions, hearts, and lives. He can preserve life or take life any time he chooses. We live and breathe because of his great grace. And God wants us to know that He chooses a people for himself even today and makes a distinction between his children and children of the devil. Would God consider you one of his children or a child of the devil? You can successfully mimic a real Christian's life without actually being one, but he knows who his children really are. It's time to put away all the games. Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and God raised Jesus from the dead. We broke God's law, but Jesus paid our fine. He also conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that he raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? Hey, thanks for watching the Exodus chapter 11 episode. If you enjoyed it, share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.